Welcome back to Tahoe tonight. Joined now by a very special guest from Barton Health, Tina Bress. Welcome. Thank you. Pleased to be here. Yeah. Now, I understand you are the co-director of Camp Sunrise. Yes. Tell us a little yes. bit about Camp Sunrise. Camp Sunrise is a children's bereavement camp. We're in our seventh year, and we provide a supportive environment for children who are grieving and processing a loss. Now, what kind of activities do you guys provide oh, gosh. at your camp? Um, camp is held out at Galilee, so we have a beautiful setting. We do uh, physical activities. We do a lot of memory work. Uh, we do some honoring ceremonies, and basically we let these children understand that even though they're grieving and have suffered a loss, they can still be children and enjoy themselves. Now, who do you see coming to this camp? Uh, campers are between the ages of 7 and 14 and they have experienced the loss of a loved one. Mm -hmm. um, parents, siblings, grandparents, um, and they are in the Barton service area, so these children are from South Lake Tahoe, Minden, Gardnerville, uh, Markleyville, Carson City. Is there a minimum age that you have to do? Seven. Okay. Seven is, is um, our youngest, and 14, we'll take them up through age 14. And what's nice is we've found that a lot of our campers, um, once they are done at 14, want to come back and volunteer. Oh, cool. And, and be like a counselor. And be a, be a junior counselor, help us out with things. So it's, it's nice. They provide great role models for the children. Now, is this a summer camp? It's a weekend camp. Okay. It's, it's a grief camp that we hold in the summer. Um, it'll take place Father's Day weekend. Campers arrive late Friday afternoon, and parents and family pick them up on Sunday afternoon. Now, does this have to be someone who's experienced a recent loss, or can it be maybe a few years prior? No, it can be a few years because um, as children age, they start experiencing their grief differently and it affects them differently. Um, we have children who have been there as recent as uh, suffering a loss from a couple of months previous to the beginning, um, all the way out to three years, four years. Now, where did you guys get the idea to start this camp? This is modeled after several uh, grief camps that have been held nationwide. Um, this one is unique to Barton Home Health and Hospice and um, our medical social director, Rebecca Phillipson, was one of the founders of, of our camp. Do you have any success stories you could share with us tonight? Um, I have one. Um, I have one, and this is a young man who came to camp, um, gosh, probably four years ago, and after suffering the loss of a grandmother he was extremely close to, has been attending, had been attending every year, um, until he hit our 14 threshold and now has been participating in our high school grief support group and this will be the second year he'll be coming back to help us out as a volunteer uh, junior counselor. So he's pretty much an expert on the he's, matter by he's, now. He's been there, he's been there and um, as I said what's nice about it even though there are older adults that are volunteers um, to have a high school student there makes it a little bit easier for some of our, our campers to identify with and say, you know, he's made it through things. I'm going to be okay. Well, thank you so much, Tina, for joining uh, us on my pleasure. tonight. Thank you very much. Hope you Appreciate have a it. Great camp. And for more information, you can visit bartonhealth.org/slash camp sunrise. We'll be back with more Tahoe tonight right after this.